Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I will show you how to render this glass bowl scene using Arnold in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. First let's create the bowl. Go to front view and here I will import a reference image. Now scale up this image and move it back so that we have enough space to work with. I will keep this image in a layer and turn on reference mode so that it can't be selected accidentally and change its position. And now let's take a sphere over here, go to front view and then scale it to match the thickness of the reference image. Now go to face mode, drag and select these top faces, and delete them. Then go to edge mode, select this edge loop, and scale it up from the middle to adjust the shape according to the reference image. And now, let's create this base part. Go to face mode, select this face loop, then hold shift, right click, and choose duplicate faces. Now then, select this mesh, then click on this button to make it center pivot, then move it down, and adjust the shape accordingly. After that select the bowl geometry and apply extrude to give some thickness. This much of thickness is looking good. Now go to face mode, double click on it to select all these faces, then hold shift, right click, go to face normals, and then reverse normals. And now, let's create water inside the bowl. Go to face mode, then drag and select these middle faces and isolate them. And now, just deselect these bottom faces. After that, hold shift and then press greater than key on your keyboard to increase the selection. Go to side view and increase the selection till whatever you want to keep the water level. And after that, hold shift, right click and choose duplicate face. and now isolate this inside mesh. Go to edge mode, select this edge loop, and then extrude it. Scale it down from the middle, and then apply fill hole. Go to face mode, select this face, and apply poke face. And now, select all the faces, then hold shift, right click, go to face normals, and then reverse normals. And after that, create edge loops wherever needed, to hold the shape. Now then, I have placed this bowl on top of a plane. And if I turn on X-ray mode, you can see I have created bubbles inside the water, which are normal spheres with different sizes. I have also created a camera for the scene. And for lighting, I have placed an Arnold Sky Dome light and applied an indoor HDRI image on it. And now, let's assign a new material to the bowl. Over here, select Arnold, and then choose AI Standard Surface. Now, select the bowl mesh, then go to Attribute Editor, and choose AI Standard Surface Material. I will rename it as Glass. You can use these presets which we have in Arnold Shader by default. But I am gonna create the texture from scratch. From Specular Channel, reduce the roughness to zero. 
Now, IOR stands for Index of Refraction, which will be 1.500 for glass material. You can also find this value by clicking on the IOR channel. Now then, let's render this out and see how it is looking in the render view. Now, we can see this is not looking like a transparent glass material. To make it transparent, increase the transmission weight all the way to 1. And now, you can see this is looking like a clear glass. After that, select this water mesh and assign new material on it. Select Arnold and choose AI Standard Surface. I'll rename this material as Water. Reduce the specular roughness to 0. Now this IOR value for water surface will be 1.330. And now increase the transmission weight all the way to 1 to make it transparent. Now then select the bubbles and deselect all the other objects. And let's assign a new material on them. Then choose AI Standard Surface. I will rename this as Bubbles. Then reduce the specular roughness to 0. And now, IR value for bubbles will be 1, which is same as air. And then increase the transmission weight all the way to 1, to make it transparent. After that, go to render settings, and over here, I will set the image size to HD 720. Now go to Arnold Renderer tab, open advanced section, and make sure nested dielectrics is turned on. And now, select the glass bowl, and from Attribute Editor, choose the glass material. And over here, change the dielectric priority to 3. After that, select the water mesh, and over here, change the dielectric priority to 1. And finally select the bubbles, and then, change the dielectric priority to 2. After that, click on Render button, and you can see, the bubbles are clearly visible inside the water surface. So I have this scene set up over here, where I have added some small plantations, some pebbles down here, and a lovely fish. This fish is available on Truong CG Artist website, which I have downloaded. So thanks a bunch to the Truong CG Artist for this lovely model. And now, let's go to the camera view, and then click on Render button. This is looking really nice. Now let's adjust some render settings. Now then, expand this ray depth section, and increase the specular to 3. Now for this transmission value, I will keep it as A. If I lower down the transmission value to 2, it will appear as black. Now if I increase little by little, then you can see how this are affecting different materials for different values. So I will keep it at 8, which is sufficient for this scene. So this is it for the rendering setup for the glass material in Arnold. You can save the image when the render is completely done. Thank you for watching the video, and stay tuned for more tutorial videos. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.